Hi all, Dmitry is here, and this is my next video about uh, AA battery testing. Today let's check active energy rechargeable batteries and primary cells, non-rechargeable, just alkalines. Let's compare them and check uh, how good or how bad they are and what is better, rechargeable ones or not. I will check uh, them just like bef uh, in previous video, I check it a uh, different brand. So for rechargeable ones I will do discharge uh, like like they have now, now of the shelf. Let's see how much capacity we have there. Then I will recharge them and do another check. And for Alkaline's procedure will be just the same like it was before. I will do a check with uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 amps. As you can see my setup has changed a bit. I replaced a battery container. But in general all remains the same. IMAX will control discharge process and this my custom device uh, based on ESP32 will lock the voltage and of course at the end of this video I will show you the graphs and we will compare uh, the results for rechargeable and uh, alkalines so let's go, let's start with uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable ones we have 200, uh, sorry, 2500 milliamp hours rated capacity just nickel metal hydride rechargeable. I cannot see something like low self discharge here, or maybe like some pre charged. So there is just generic nickel metal hydrides. Let's check how they will perform. Okay, to distinguish them one from another, I added this paper tape. On each one, so we can know which which is which, and this will be needed to second test about after uh, recharging. And I don't know if you can see this. Okay, let's try to focus. No. Uh, there is a 500 milliampere charging uh, current specified uh, which seems really strange so let's check how they will work let's try with let's start with this one 0 0.1 amp let's go Okay, first uh, one discharge is finished and as you can see capacity is uh, almost 2000 mAh. It looks good. Let's check another one with uh, 0 0.2 amps. Okay, second cell is installed, 0 0.2 amps current, let's go. Okay, discharge is finished and as you can see capacity is dropped but not too much so so far so good. Let's check third one with 0 0.5 amp. Third cell 0 0.5 amps current, let's go. Voltage is dropping here but don't care about it because we reading voltage with different wires and here we have a drop because we have some extension wires for cell holder so here we're interested only in current and capacity and voltage parameters will be recorded separately so don't worry okay 0 0.5 amp charge is finished and as you can see capacity is quite low only one and a half amp hours Maybe this is uh, this happens because IMAX turns off turn off this discharge too early, just because we have long wires and uh, on, on that long wires we have uh, 
significant voltage drop. So what we will do, we will check uh, last one uh, with uh, different uh, cutoff voltage. One moment. So to check this, if we really have uh, too much voltage drop on the wires, I will set 0 0.4 volt here. Termination voltage. Let's start. Okay, we are finished and we see slightly bigger capacity here, but I think I will return the end of the charge voltage to previous value, 0 0.6 volt, just to be fair, just to test all cells in the equal uh, conditions. So we have a not bad capacity at 0 0.5 amp for batteries uh, of the shelf. Okay, we finished the uh, first uh, round of tests. I recharged uh, some of uh, already tested cells and let's uh, check what do we will see after recharging. So let's repeat the test with 0 0.1 amp. Okay, discharge uh, of first uh, cell finished. It was freshly charged, uh, charged and, and as you can see, capacity is about uh, 2100 mAh and rated capacity is 2500 mAh, so this is, seems too low, maybe, maybe there is some mistake or something goes wrong, or maybe this accus is not good at all, so let's continue the tests, let's check second one with uh, 0 .0, 0 0.2 amps. Okay, second cell is installed, uh, 0 0.2 amp discharge, oh sorry, <laughs> 0 0.2 amp discharge go. Okay, 0 0.2 amp discharge is finished and we can see exactly the same picture here. So it seems like uh, this cell is not uh, to 1500 milliamp hours, but they most likely about just 2000. So it's quite interesting. Let's check with uh, half of amber. Okay, cell number three and current half of amber. Let's go. Okay, 0 0.5 amp discharge is finished and as you can see capacity is surprisingly low. It seems like something goes wrong because this capacity is even lower than we had uh, just out of the box when this battery was not freshly charged. But right now it was freshly charged and capacity is so low so it's quite interesting. Let's check. Uh, fourth cell, cell number four, with the uh, same 0 0.5 amp current, and see what happens. Okay, let's go. Cell number four, 0 0.5 amp discharge. So, discharge is finished, and here we can see that something clearly goes wrong. Capacity is uh, almost nothing. So, I think, uh, first of all, I need to change the design of my setup. And second one, maybe maybe I should uh, lower uh, the charge end to voltage. But also, maybe these uh, accumulators, these rechargeable cells, are not good for high currents. So, let's try with uh, normal alkalines and compare the results. If something wrong with the setup, we will clearly see it also with uh, normal alkalines. If something wrong with the cells, uh, then we will have uh, good results with normal alkalines. So, we tested active energy rechargeables and got strange results, but we have some data. Let's check normal alkalines. Uh, most 
Notable difference here is uh, this one. Normal alkalines is made in Europe and rechargeables made in China. And funny thing is, if you put them plus to plus, minus to minus, uh, logo will be inverted. So they like like uh, they trying to be <laughs> the same brand, but it seems like it's completely different processes, completely different manufacturing. Okay, let's uh, check normal alkalines. 0 0.1 amp current. Let's go. Okay, 0 0.1 amp charge is finished. You can see capacity here. Let's check next one with 0 0.2 amps. 0 0.2 amps charge go. Let's wait a bit. We finished discharge with 0 0.2 amps and as you can see capacity is dropping, but it's... I guess it's still okay. Let's check with half of amper. Okay, we are ready, so let's check capacity with half of amper and uh, by the way, here we will see if something wrong with setup. In this case we will have really low capacity, less than 1 amp hours. Amp hour. Or maybe it's something wrong with the rechargeable cells. In this case we will see maybe one and a half amp hours, I'm not sure, so let's check it. Oh, yeah, it's already already says like it's finished, so it seems like we really have too much voltage drop on the wires. So let's do one thing. Let's lower this end voltage to 0 0.1 volt. And let's go again. So it seems like this setup is not suitable for high currents, because we have too much voltage drop on the wires. And I will recheck these rechargeables with half of ampere with uh, cutoff voltage lower it down. Okay, so let's wait a bit and see what we will have here. Half of ampere test is finished. You can see capacity here. And like with previous alkalines, as you can see, capacity is uh, surprisingly low. So this one is not a good option for high currents again. But it's okay, while we tested previous alkalines it was the same. So, okay, let's repeat tests with uh, rechargeables, with 0 0.5 amp and uh, lower uh, shot off voltage. One moment. Another test of rechargeable cell with 0 0.5 amp and cut off voltage with uh, 0 0.1 volt. Let's go. Okay, last discharge is finished with 0 0.0 amp uh, current and the rechargeable cell gives us about 2 amp hours capacity, which is not good, uh, oh sorry, which is not bad, but it's still lower than it rated, it rated as uh, 2500 milliamp hours and we got slightly below 2000 but it's um, it's much better than it was with uh, alkaline so let's take a look at the graph let's take a look at the graph that we have from this series of testing and here we can see uh, graphs for 0 0.1 amp this is longer ones 0 0.2 amps a bit shorter and for half amp you can see this graph for alkaline and these two noisy graphs for rechargeables unfortunately uh, my iMac stopped discharge too early because of bad contact between between the cell and uh, battery holder so this is a huge fail actually we don't have uh, graphs for half amper 
and I will make a new uh, battery test setup because because as you can see this one is not working properly but what you can see here for low current for 0.1 amp this is uh, alkaline graph as you can see this uh, is alkaline it works a bit longer than rechargeable for rechargeable you can see a noise here it's because of bad contacts but uh, we can compare it still we can and alkaline performs better but if you increase current for 0.2 amp this is alkaline as you can see it's starting from high relatively high voltage and this is uh, rechargeable and at 0.2 amps rechargeable already performs better and for half amper well you should not use rechargeables of or alkalines because they will die soon so you can consider this video is a first fail video on my channel at least for battery testing because because of this so I need to rebuild my setup I think I will do something completely different uh, and, and I will not use a PC for data logging anymore but okay let me think about this so thank you for watching sorry for this fail as you can see it's not always goes as we want but okay it's, it's life it's not always perfect thank you and have a nice day bye bye